Hello, this is a further exploration of Veracross as an LMS. This is the main page here, the faculty portal. So from this, you can find the class that you're interested in. In this case, it's AP Biology. Some other important features for communication on the, uh, on the main page, you can find students, faculty, or staff here, calendar setup, lesson planner, messages in a library of resources. Down here are many school functions, uh, field trip requests, event request form, etc. So this shows effective communication between administration, faculty, and students. Let me enter here to the uh, AP Biology page. First of all, you can, con you can email students directly post announcements. We'll see a little bit more about that in a little bit. Email parents. If I go over to the website here and manage the website, this is a timeline for the students. I'll show each one of these uh, applications in just a moment. You can have a discussion, uh, assignments. If you look at the, uh, discussions here. This is a discussion that I posted here that the students can um, um, answer. Okay, so reflect on how global warming is affecting your life now and the implications for future effects. How might effects be reversed, cited in a specific example. And I have a student reply here. If I go back to the timeline, I can have a post. The posts include the editor here, a post about an assignment. Okay, that is uh, the unit test here that I posted. Take a look at that. Okay, then back to the website here. I can have post an assignment. Okay, so categories here, various categories, classwork, homework, test, project, book report, etc. I put in the title, the start date, and then the due date for it. I'll show you an example in just a little bit. Maximum score, the Dropbox function allows students to directly put uh, files such as Word documents or PDFs, so it's completely paperless. Uh, it can be done in, uh, outside of class time. If we look at other resources here, I've posted class resources. These are done by units, and this again allows flexible, easy communication. Students can get assignments uh, from wherever they are easily. If we go back to the timeline, I can post a lesson plan that students can, can view. Quick post here allows a link, okay, a short message. So let's take a look here. A quick post, cell organ error review video. Okay, so a link to a video that they are requested or the, that I'm requesting them watch with a description. Okay, going back to the timeline here, we can see other posts. Here's an assignment. Okay, that's a unit seven test post. That would be given in class, but I could easily have assignments online as well. The class web page here. I can go to AP Course Guide. Okay, the syllabus is listed here and an introduction to the course. Some questions posted there. 
more class information. Okay, my picture, uh, my phone number and email are all listed there. A class calendar showing both school and class dates. Again, communication between faculty, staff, students, and parents. If we go home here, okay, this is a, a overview class web page showing the assignments that are due. I can adjust settings here for various gradings. Uh, I can't show the grade book because that's an, this is an active class with students. But back to the website here, discussions I showed, pages. Okay, I can create web pages and then publish them according to a unit. Attendance is, can be taken daily, grade book, students are listed here. I would use this along with Microsoft Teams for group chats and meetings. Okay. Veracross does not have as much capability for that. But all in all, it's a very useful program and works quite well. Thank you.